Power boats less than six meters in length are legally required to carry specific mandatory safety equipment on board. This do-it-yourself safety equipment checklist will ensure you're fully compliant. You must have one Canadian approved personal flotation device or life jacket of appropriate size for each person on board. Check the label to ensure it's approved by either Transport Canada, the Canadian Coast Guard or Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Inspect each one regularly for damage such as tears, broken zippers or buckles and if damaged, replace immediately as a damaged PFD or life jacket is not considered approved. Finally, to be legal, a PFD or life jacket must be readily accessible. The best idea is to just wear it. You'll need a buoyant heaving line that's at least 15 meters in length. A watertight flashlight that's operational is also required. It's a good idea to carry spare batteries in a watertight container. Or you require three flares of types A, B or C. Inspect your flares to ensure they've not reached their four-year expiration date and make sure to store them in a dry, safe place. A sound signaling device or appliance must be carried on board as a means to signal for assistance. A manual propelling device is required, such as a paddle or an anchor with at least 15 meters of line. Inspect the anchor line and shackle regularly for wear or damage and store in a manner for quick emergency deployment. A baler or manual water pump with sufficient hose to reach over the side of the vessel must also be carried on board. When traveling in unfamiliar waters, you're required to carry the latest edition of the largest scale chart for the area. You must also have onboard nautical publications, including notices to mariners, sailing directions, list of lights, buoys, and fog signals, and tide and current tables if applicable. If you travel where there are no navigation aids within sight, a magnetic compass is required. If your powerboat has an enclosed engine or fuel tank, a Class 5 BC fire extinguisher must be carried on board. If your boat is equipped with a fuel burning, cooking, heating or refrigeration appliance, you must carry a second 5 BC fire extinguisher. Inspect regularly for correct operating pressure and at least once a month shake in the upside down position to keep the contents active. Always store in the bracket provided and mount in an easily accessible area. If you'll be operating your power boat at night or in restricted visibility, you're required to have navigation lights. If you're operating a non-metallic craft in areas where radar is in use, you're required to carry a radar reflector. However, you are exempt if having the radar reflector is impractical or not required for the safety of the craft. Vessels with a freeboard of more than half a meter or one foot eight inches must also carry a reboarding device. This can be a transom or swim platform ladder, or a ladder that easily stows on board. All operators of recreational pleasure craft are responsible for compliance with Canada's boating regulations. Taking the time to perform your own pre-departure safety check will ensure you have the required safety equipment on board. If you'd like a free recreational vessel courtesy check, contact your local Canadian Power and Sail Squadrons. A CPS boating safety specialist will meet you at your boat to help identify any potential deficiencies in vessel licensing, operator certificates, or mandatory and optional safety equipment. They'll also answer any questions you may have regarding boating safety. Once you're fully compliant, you'll receive a Transport Canada approved safety inspection sticker from the Canadian Power and Sail Squadrons. You can find out more about your required safety equipment right here at smartboater.ca. You can also find boating safety information in the Safe Boating Guide, which is available on Transport Canada's website under Marine Safety.